Solving the task is one thing, but the actual learning by the whole class comes when we have the discussion at the end. And the question is, how do we have a discussion that is going to advance the learning of the whole class? So I want to claim that there's two really important things that, that you might not have picked up on. The first is they left time to have the discussion, right? How often do we go in class and kids are working and things are going well and you want to give them as much work time as possible and you look up and say, oh my gosh, five minutes before the bell rings. Quick, I got to say a couple things, assign the homework and get them out the door. It's really important as you think about planning a lesson to leave time for that quality discussion. And I know it's hard sometimes when you have short class periods. I know there's also disadvantages in carrying over the discussion to the next day. But you do want to allow sufficient time for that discussion. So that's number one. One of the other things that was important that both of these teachers did is actually what they didn't do. They did not ask the fatal question, who wants to share? Right? As soon as you ask who wants to share, you have turned your discussion over to a third, fourth, fifth grader high school student because you never know what's going to come out of their mouth. And then you're stuck. It's like, oh, shoot, I didn't want that to come up, or I didn't want to start with that. And then you, you're kind of like, you're wasting time, or you're getting information out there that you don't want right then. So ban from your vocabulary for the next year who wants to share, actually for the future, right? Who wants to share? That's not what you want to do. Instead, what you saw the teachers do is very thoughtfully think about who they wanted to have present and why and in what order. If you want a good discussion, you first need to anticipate what kids might do with the task, both the results they might have, but also how, where they might struggle. So that you have questions you can ask, you know, all, all the teacher asked questions, right, as they were circulating. They didn't go and give hints or point them to the answer. It was asking questions. You need to anticipate. And then they monitored what the students actually did. Who did what? And they walk around. A lot of the teachers I've worked with, we walk around. We, let, we anticipate with it, and we have a little monitoring sheet. Here's what we expect to get. And do we get something we didn't expect, and how might we use it? And then the question about, how, then who do I select to present? In what order? Right? And then what questions am I going to ask? How am I going to make the connections that are going to advance learning? Right? So if these five practices will turn your discussions from show and tell into mathematics learning.